All right, for anyone who's had issues with their Wi-Fi shutting off, it's due to the Ford update that just happened on Ford Pass. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix it and get into the factory uh, hotspot setup. So first off, you're going to start with taking off the top, you know, cover. Use your panel tool. It's okay if those clips break. They're not the end of the world. Put that to the side. Take your 7 mil, either on a drill or a ratchet. Take one out. Take two out. Then you're going to want to wedge your plastic panel tool right here. That's one. And then use your hand for the other. Pull out the small clip right here. That's for your speaker. Then you have the two seven mils right here. One out, two out. Okay, your link swell is ready to come out. Pull even pressure right here, and all the clips are gonna pop out. Um, it's not a bad idea to lay down a microfiber here so you don't scratch anything, but the only plug you're gonna have to worry about is this plug right here. So this is your latch where you depress the pin, pull it over, and then here's the only plug you have to worry about. All right, so the easiest way to do it is pull your top buttons out, whether you have two or three, more than likely it's gonna be three. Pull all three of these out. Just so it gives you a little bit more room. Now you're gonna take your latch connector, take your factory screen, and the only one you got to plug in is this guy right here. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. Got it upside down. All right, now the factory screen is plugged in. If you want, just let it hang there. You're gonna hit the ignition button once. It's perfectly normal if your volume goes a little haywire, just deal with it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to settings. Wipe over, you're gonna look for Wi-Fi and hotspot. Vehicle hotspot, make sure the hotspot is on. Go to settings, we already went ahead and changed it. So you're gonna go to edit, change SSID name. We changed it, so just change it to whatever you want. Then hit okay, it'll say successful. Go to password, I like to make the password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you hit done, it'll say successful. Hit the back button. And then as you can see, you have F250 Wi-Fi with your password. Go ahead and take a picture of that. Now what you wanna do is take your phone, go in your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and just make sure you could connect to that Wi-Fi hotspot. Go to general. automatic system updates go ahead and turn that off you don't want that on that's what caused this issue in the first place hit the back button hit the power button open your door make sure the screen is completely off make sure the truck has no power 